my all my forces and like if you're a trend player you don't want to just constantly harass and not and just harass 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 and then you go, you look back at your own base and you have nothing there and you just see like 25 dragoons coming and attacking and you're like fuck where where is all my units but yeah so you don't want to be like that because then that's just that's just, that just sucks for you because you, then you suck and like yeah you just suck but yeah anyways so now yeah as you can see loading more vultures into my uh, dropship and I'm gonna go uh, harass his main again and that mine showed me that he's making a citadel and he has a pylon there I'm hoping he doesn't have cannons there but even if he does I'll probably just run and uh, I'm not gonna be stupid with my vultures and lose them to cannons I'll probably just run my dropship uh, yeah, so right now again, as you can see, I'm macroing really well. My minerals are like 100 to 100 ratio. Uh, actually, 100 to 100 exactly when I said that. And yeah, okay, here we go. So now my dropship is coming in, and he's running every single. Yeah, he probably saw this beforehand, and now my dropship is gonna die. And I didn't drop that much. Uh, I didn't get that much out of that. That was actually a bad, bad uh, uh, trade-off for me because I lost a lot more than I gained over there. And yeah, it's that was bad. Except I, I know like being the Portos player that actually played this game. I know I actually saw that from because I saw an observer seeing his dropship, and that's why I ran my pros. But yeah, technically, uh, in a real game, uh, most people won't be able to see it that fast, and the reaction time won't be that good. So that I guess I just got really unlucky there because he saw it, and now uh, I'm seizing all my things because again I don't want him to come over on me. And this, and I basically have a static defense going on right now, and it's going to be very hard for him to break the static defense before I push out. And again, uh, to push out, you you just have to wait. Like you have to you have to feel when you're ready to push out. Like you should just know. And again, as you can see, bringing two SUVs along, the key things, bringing SUVs along, and now again, ho uh, hawking my commsat station so I know when DTs are going to come and where his army is and everything. And yeah, it's just very helpful. And now as you can see, dragoons coming, and now I'm going to siege my tanks. And uh, I'm just, yeah, okay, so as you can see, I seized my tanks, but now he ran, so basically he knows, like, when to uh, attack and not attack. Like, he has observers over my uh, army, so he knows when to attack and basically when not to attack, just what I said. And I'm trying to lay mines around his dragoons, and it's not working that well, but as you can see, he I have a lot of tanks, and he doesn't have any zealots here, so I can siege wherever the hell, and he can't do anything about it, because uh, even if I siege right next to his dragoons, I'll still be able to kill all the dragoons, because... Uh, the, there's no zealots to supplement the dragoon army, and you need zealots to basically, uh, base you you need zealots to basically t uh, make the tanks splash each other. It's very hard to make tanks splash each other with dragoons because dragoons are a lot bigger in size. And as you can see, I am slowly pushing up to his base, and I'm laying mines everywhere so I don't get flanked or countered or anything. And uh, yeah, okay, I spotted some zealots down here, and yeah, he's probably waiting to make those zealots go attack me, like, and he doesn't see the mines, so these mines are gonna do a lot of damage. That mine's being really gay. And it's being really bitchy, and it's like being it's it's being a fag basically. That mine is just like I'm gonna go run, and yeah, it's a fag. But anyways, so uh, my vultures again. I'm I basically know where all his units are right now, and they're basically uh, all around me. And he's getting ready to flank me, but I know I'm I'm laying mines everywhere, so I know uh, when he's gonna come for a flank and where he's gonna come from. And right now I'm getting my third expansion again. What you really want? Another key thing you have to note, guys. When you're pushing, you want to have, uh, you want to have to get you. You want to get your third expansion when you're pushing, because when you're putting pressure on, it's the best time to expand because your opponent is busy trying to defend himself, and while he's trying to do that, you can expand, which is very, very helpful. And now, uh, as you can see, he did have, by the way, that turret I made. You could, you could tell from that turret that he had observers uh, on top of my armies, so he basically knows when I'm pushing and where I'm pushing and everything. But it doesn't matter, because think of it, even if you know where everything is, how hard is it's very hard to stop. And yeah, as you can see, um, right now I'm laying mines everywhere. I'm setting up a contain outside of this base right here. As you can see, this contain I'm but I'm almost ready for this contain. And as you can see, I have four. He, I saw force his forces up there, so he's probably setting up for a flank, maybe a counter. But yeah, uh, he, I, I have to keep that in mind that he has forces up there, and he has a lot of forces up there. So unless I I have to, I just have to keep that in mind that there's forces up there, and I have to be prepared for them. And yeah, they are over here, and I have a tank running and. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, okay, now I know what he's doing. Okay, he's basically going for a counter right now. This is going to be a very crucial point in the game. I am going to go push. I, like, I realize my forces are way closer to his base than they are to mine. So right now, I'm going to be pushing all the way to his base, and he's going to be pushing to my base, so it's basically going to be like whoever can screw the other person over before they get screwed first. So this is going to come down to, yeah, whoever has a bigger army and whoever can do the more fucking in the less time right now. And, uh, yeah, my, as you can see, he has a huge force up in my base, and I have a huge force up in his base. So it's basically, yeah, we're both uh, trying to kill each other before we get killed, and I'm going to siege my tanks up here, because 
uh, he is on the ramp, so he's at advantage, except Siege Mode is still really, really powerful, despite being on the ramp or not. And I have to, like, heal my command center, lift it, because there's absolutely no way I can defend this. Well, because he has a huge army, and uh, again, we're both screwing each other over right now. This is a very epic game right now. As you can see, we're both trying to, we're both trying to, everything we can to basically kill the other opponent. And I'm moving up his ramp, because I really want to stop his probe line, so he, uh, uh, interrupt his probe line, so he can't pump that much. And now, as you can see, I killed a few Dragoons, except now my base is completely breached. Like, there's no way I can possibly uh, hold my, ba my main base anymore. So now I'm building factories on my third expansion, because... I need uh, some uh, production and I know I have SCVs at my third base so I need some sort of production and uh, some sort of infantry uh, help and as you can see he's trying to sneak DTs. DTs are always like a desperation attack when you're really desperate to do some damage you want to just you just use DTs because that's probably the best desperation move that can easily get you back in the game but yeah as you can see he's trying to make his gateways at his third I'm trying to make my factories at my third so we're both trying to make our like we're both trying to make more units at our next base and right now uh, he has more DTs at my base, and, uh, sorry, I have more, he has more DTs at my, yeah, that's right, no, he has more DTs trying to defend his own base right now, that's what I meant, and I have, I'm trying to kill his third, he's, tr he has, I don't know if he's seen my third yet, but, uh, even if he, I don't, yeah, I don't know if he's seen my third, but if he sees this third, I'm gonna be pretty much screwed, because, oh yeah, okay, there, he sees my third, and now he's gonna send all his armies to my third base, and he has, and I have this whole army, so this probably, yeah, if I can keep this, uh, alive, then, it's gonna be good except yeah by the way there's no post game analysis because uh, my cousin or my friend whatever you want to call him he left really early in the game and so there's no post game analysis but yeah this is over because he sees my third base and my I'm completely breached and and he has a big army coming to uh, coming over here and he's gonna kill this attack so this is pretty much game hope you guys enjoy this video peace out